Blame Truth here, the Codfather himself, bringing you another video. Today's video is going to be kind of an amalgamation of different news bits and tidbits regarding Call of Duty 2023, the COD hype cycle, the COD... Uh, I guess how fast things die. <laughs> I, I was going to make a, an entire video dedicated to this, but it might get a little boring just covering numbers and, and factual data and whatnot. So I'm going to mix it in with this video and just kind of cover everything all at once in a longer Black Ops 4 gameplay from my boy E5150. Again, thank you Thick Glutes. Thank you E5150 for the consistent gameplay um, supplying because I don't really have the time, mental energy, or... I guess fortitude to play Call of Duty, any Call of Duty really, in 2023. In fact, I may skip Call of Duty 2023 entirely because it's made by Sledgehammer My Balls. Uh, we can we can rag on Infinity Ward, we can rag on Treyarch, you can rag on any COD dev, but man, Sledgehammer might just be the dirt fucking worst. And that's saying something because I, I've not forgotten Vanguard. You guys maybe have. Maybe you're thinking MW2 is the worst Call of Duty of all time. I think Vanguard and Modern Warfare 2 are not only the worst Call of Duties of all time, I, I think they're tied. I, I think they're some of the worst video games I've ever played, if not the worst video games I've ever played, and I'm not even being facetious there. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. I'm not just jacking with you, you know? But we got some, uh, some news and info and stuff. I'm just gonna, I don't know, I, I guess read this verbatim from Modern Warzone here. Call of Duty 2023 will reportedly be revealed in August by some form of in-game event. The next COD title is a sequel to Modern Warfare 2 developed by Sledgehammer Games and will include some form of zombies at launch, according to the report. Yeah, remember Vanguard Zombies? I, I sure do. It was a steaming pile of fucking goat shit. So I wouldn't look forward to that at all. There are some people out there that are insane and they're still trying to be optimistic with this fucking franchise. To you, I say, get a grip. Stop misleading your your audience if you have any sort of following at all you're effectively misleading your audience for the past four years we have been shit on until the trend changes you need to be very very pessimistic in my humble opinion save people money this year seriously um there's also some other news i wanted to cover regarding fortnite so fortnite you guys know fortnite right they were supposed to come out well the rumor was they were supposed to come out with like a goku black skin today and, you know, Fortnite is, like, leading the way in awesome crossovers. They've had Stranger Things, Marvel, they've had Avengers, you know, they've had all sorts of just awesome fucking characters. Meanwhile, Call of Duty gets uh, Ghostface, which I like Ghostface, don't get me wrong, but it was in an 80s-themed Call of Duty game, and just recently it was announced that Kevin Durant is going to be a skin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys right now, all right? I'm going to ask everybody watching this fucking video right now. Who the fuck cares about Kevin goddamn Durant? Nobody. Who fuck? I don't think even people that like NBA care. Who, why, why Kevin Durant? Why not LeBron James? Are you guys lacking in the LeBron James funds department? Get that man in the fucking video game. In his bald spot, too. You know, like, I, I want to see LeBron James with his bald spot in the store... You're going to charge $30 for it anyway. So just get the best basketball player. Fuck Kevin Durant, man. Didn't Lil B make a song called Fuck Kevin Durant? I think he did. Anyway, guys. I don't know, man. It's, just, it's like, what, what the hell, dude? You got like Thanos versus, oh, I don't know, Muggsy Bogues of the Charlotte Hornets in Call of Duty. Yeah, that's not really a fair match, man. Call of Duty. Give us some good goddamn skins. Like, they had the Stranger Things crossover that I mentioned. Well, guess what? That would have fit in well with. Black Ops Cold War, the game set in the 80s, you know? Instead, we got 90s Ghostface. <laughs> I mean, Ghostface was the best part about that game, though. I shouldn't even be bitching, really. The Scream Deathmatch event and the Halloween event, that was like the only time I've had fun on Call of Duty in the past four years. Uh, but regardless, my original point is that Goku Black is still rumored to be coming to Fortnite. So Fortnite's getting this awesome anime character. Honestly, he kind of transcends anime. Even people that don't really like anime know who Goku is, you know, and then they like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super and stuff. And um, I don't know, man, it's just, we get Kevin Durant, <laughs> you know? I don't know, just pondering it today, it, it just made my head hurt. Made me kind of hungry too. And then I reached in the fridge and I grabbed a meal from Factor, and I felt better. This just so happens to be today's sponsor. 
Today's video is sponsored by Factor. If you are too busy to cook this May like myself, then Factor will help you skip the trips to the grocery store, it'll help you skip the prepping, and it'll help you skip the cleaning that comes with cooking from home. Factor is fresh, it's never frozen, and meals are ready in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat and enjoy. I'm in a pretty interesting predicament right now in that I just got a new gaming PC, but I'm also working out in my spare time now my gaming pc i really want to spend as much time as possible gaming of course and factor helps me with their calorie smart meals that clock in at around 550 calories or less per serving i also like the protein options because like i said i work out and i need protein to fuel these muscles the protein plus option offers 30 grams of protein or more per serving with how expensive takeout is getting and how unhealthy a lot of the options are, as far as takeout goes, Factor is a lifesaver. Head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code CODFATHER40 to get 40% off your first Factor box. And I highly recommend you pick up the mushroom, chicken thighs, and wild rice. That is a personal BT favorite. All right, guys, welcome back to the video here. So now that we got the, I, I guess you can call those leaks, rumors, whatever out of the way. I mean, it's the same old stuff. Even if Zombies is good. Let's say Zombies is made by Treyarch. I mean, again, they made the Zombies for Vanguard and it was like a mobile game. And that, that's actually insulting to a lot of mobile games, to be completely honest. But I don't know. How can anyone have high hopes for this? Like, are you insane? Are you are you getting paid by Activision directly? Like, seriously. Does Bobby Kotick have your family locked in the basement or something? Is the little ginger gnome giving you a fancy foot job under the table at the local Cracker Barrel on the weekends? What is going on? Why are you so optimistic when it's been proven time and time again that each passing year, Call of Duty essentially gets worse? Now, here's the thing, man. If you guys don't believe me, like, let, let, let's just say I'm being super negative right now. A lot of people will say that, like, BT, you're just being negative. BT, you're just being negative. I want to show you these numbers. Now, it's verified, verified with hard data that the player numbers all across the board are down by several million. What was it, like 14 million or something like that? Now, here's the thing, man. We don't have the hard Call of Duty numbers, but we know that Call of Duty is Activision's biggest breadwinner, right? Like, it is. Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 are underperforming. It is factual, but that's not the only area where they're underperforming. Now check this out, all right? I cover this a lot. I cover Reddit discussion, and a lot of people say like, "Oh, it's not factual, whatever." Like it's not it's not indicative of, any, of anything, whatever. I find it to be pretty much perfectly correlated with the actual people playing the game, as far as the data we have on Steam charts and the data we have about them losing several million players. Um, 13 million, I believe. I could be wrong there. If I am wrong, I apologize. But I think it's like 13 million. So check this out. Uh, I've, I've been playing Dead by Daylight recently. I've been enjoying it. It's not perfect. I don't expect perfection out of my video games. I've even bought some skins in that game. I, I, I do not mind microtransactions when they are A, fairly priced, and B, able to be earned by simply playing the game. You can buy skins in Dead by Daylight just by playing the game. Now, you have to play a lot. I'm not a huge fan of the slow progression there, but if you do want to spend some money, it's like five ten dollars for most things you know and it's a third person game at least most of the time so you're gonna be able to see your skin and i don't know i, I like the game I, I will buy microtransactions if they're fairly priced you know you can earn them in game and if i like the game and it's here to stay a while this game's been around for a while so yeah it's really it's really that simple none of these things are true in call of duty so i'm not gonna fucking buy any fuck them but let's check this out. So the blue line in this graph is going to represent the subscribers for the Dead by Daylight subreddit. The orange line is going to represent Modern Warfare 2, Roman numeral 2, the newest one. You can see here, now here's the thing, man. You can see here how massive, how massive the community is compared to Dead by Daylight. Nearly triple the amount of people subscribe to the Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 subreddit. I'm of the belief that this is botted. Like, I think Activision legitimately botted this because Fortnite's uh, subreddit has like 2.5 million or something like that, and I guess they didn't want to look bad. I don't know. 
Because, and here's the reason I say it's botted. Check this out. Let's actually look at the people talking on the subreddit, shall we? This is very interesting. Again, the blue line is Dead by Daylight. Keep in mind, Dead by Daylight is a very old game. It is, um, what, seven years old now? Uh, eight years old nearly. So here we go. The blue line is Dead by Daylight on comments per day. The orange line is Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2. It's already fucking dead. And this happens every year. Every single year with Call of Duty, there's this massive hype. The game comes out. It is horrible. People play it for a month or two. They realize the devs aren't going to do anything. They're incompetent, whatever. And they put the game on the shelf. It is a miracle. It is a modern miracle that this game and this franchise, Call of Duty, I mean, is able to fool people year after year. This is not like a, a, a Dead by Daylight scenario. This isn't even a Fortnite scenario where these games are here to stay. So there's a little tender love and care put into them and the devs bank on them, keeping them afloat for pretty much the next decade, you know? Like, Warzone's new-ish, right? Like, Warzone was fairly new. What, what, three years ago it came out? They've already moved on to Warzone 2. They are all about just cashing in on the new shiny object. And maybe that is the secret sauce. Just market your content to the biggest fucking idiots and try to fool people. And then get the content creators to kind of plug the game for you and be positive about it. Look, man. I will never, you can think I'm the biggest fucking dick, you can think I am the second coming of someone who will not be named with a very interesting mustache, whatever you want to think of me, that's fine, you can think I'm a giant asshole, you can think I'm a toxic piece of shit, that's fine, I am not going to sit up here and I'm not going to pretend to like something when it's actually shit, I'm not going to sit up here and lie to my viewers, I would rather be hated for telling the truth and saying how I actually feel than be liked for sucking butt and getting that call of duty paycheck and that's the bottom line straight up straight up that's the bottom line i i'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you guys for 15 plus years i've been coming on youtube and giving my honest opinion on everything sometimes it's positive sometimes it's negative even the good call of duties even the great call of duties like black ops 2 were not perfect i still had complaints then I, I don't expect perfection. I expect a little bit of soul. I expect a video game that doesn't clearly try to nickel and dime people to death. I expect a video game that isn't shat out and then barely worked on all year and then maybe it's halfway done by the time the next Call of Duty comes out and then that releases more broken, more featureless, more soulless than the one before it, all in the name of profit. No, fuck that. Let me tell you guys how to make money and keep everyone happy, all right? Let, let me tell you guys how to do it. Just release a good fucking game and stick with it. Modern Warfare 2 was supposed to be that game, and it was supposed to be a two-year game until Treyarch's next entry. I'm happy with just two-year games. I'm happy with Treyarch you know, getting a two-year like development cycle, and then Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer combining and getting a two-year development cycle. And then Warzone does whatever. I don't play it. I don't care about that. I'm cool with that. I can live with that. Can you guys live with that? I think I can. And the fact that, like, these are two separate studios means that they could keep working on that game even after the two-year life cycle's up. So, you can still bring content and have two different Call of Duty games made by, hopefully, two different competent studios. I mean, with Infinity War and Sledgehammer on one side, though. Jesus, Treyarch's been trying to, like, change their diapers for the past three years and failing each time. Yeah, I, I love Treyarch. I, I love Vonderhaar and all that, but it's clear as day if you look at Vonderhaar's Twitter or whatever, that man's checked out. He does not care about Call of Duty anymore. He's more interested in overlanding and live sporting events, and I can't say I blame him, truthfully. I can't say I blame him. I don't know what else to say other than um, prepare to be disappointed. I, I say it every year. You know, I say keep your expectations low. Please go into this very pessimistic. Wait until you get the green light from me. Wait. Stop hyping this stuff up. And every fucking year, it's the same thing. No one listens. It's gotten to the point now, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I started this goddamn thing, right? I, I started the Call of Duty commentary thing back in 2008. Now, someone would have came along shortly after me if I didn't do it first, so I'm not saying that's some big deal or whatever, but I started this damn thing, right? Like, technically speaking, me and a handful of other people did. 
There were so many people that came after me to do the commentary thing. Some of them did it better. Some of them did it a lot worse, and they're not here anymore. But the point is, is that I started this damn thing. And now, here I am again, four years ago, started this whole, like, complaining thing. Because I'm not happy with the current state of the game. And I saw exactly where they were going. It's clear as day, as long as you take your emotions out of it, where the franchise is headed. And now, here we are again, and people are doing the same thing I'm doing. Pretty much everyone is universally hating on this game, unless they just have a giant Bobby Kotick-shaped dildo. Not like his members or anything, just it's shaped like the man himself. The Kind of like... You know, um, reverse hourglass figure he's got going on. Unless they got that up their butt, they are uh, going to be complaining as well. And here we are again. Like, I don't buy into fucking trends, man. I do whatever I want. I do what I want. I say what I want. I say how I feel. It, you know, like, I'm not always right. I'm not always nice about it. But, like, I'm just going to say it, you know? And I think that's why people watch the video still. I think it's why people still respect me. Well, hopefully you do. And if you don't, then that's fine. Whatever, man. I'm here just to say my piece and get the fuck off the internet after that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, though. I am out of time. Thank you, E5150, for the Black Ops 4 gameplay again. And guys, I will catch you on the next one. I hope everyone has a great day. I want to suplex Joe Secott through a pot of British-style baked beans. Heinz, peace. Advice. Ah!